I'm Emma. And I'm Tracy. And we are Curly Seams. Hello and welcome. It's been a while. It has been about a month. About a month. About a month. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But we've had Christmas in between, so. Yeah, we have. We have. And it's the, the start of the year is a bit a bit slow for me. It's yeah. always slow for me. Yeah. yeah. Don't like January. Yeah, January's uh, one of those months, isn't it? But it's the 15th of February today. Uh, we're in Wiltshire, in Emma's house in Wiltshire. It's raining outside. It's not that nice. But we've got lots of woolly things to show you today. We have. We're going to dedicate this episode to all things knitting and wool related. Yes, yes. I, I have, have I have knitting. Yeah, you have knitting. It's going to be all about Emma's knits and it's all going to be about my knitting purchases. I have expectations beyond my capacity, I think, to be honest about <laughs> that. I don't think so. I don't think so. So anyway, grab a cuppa of your choice. And join us while we talk knitting. knitting. See you soon. Okay. So, so what you got then? You got a nice. We're going to talk finishes. Off. We talk finishes first, shall we? Okay. Let's okay. okay. start again. Let's start again. Okay. okay. Oh, we can start again away. Right, because I screwed it up. No, you didn't. Did I? No. I normally do. Anyway, hello and welcome. It's nice to have you with us. It is. It is nice. It's nice to be back, actually. It is. It's been a while. Yeah, it has But been. Um, this is episode 35. Is it really? Yep. 35. 35? Who'd have thunk it? I know. 35. I know. There you go. Wow. Wow. There you go. Wow. Do you know I've been married 33 years this year? Is it 33 or 32 years this year? Mine's 30 this year. Yeah, it's my 30th I... wedding anniversary wow. this year. Yeah. yeah. God. I know. <sighs> Long time. I don't know why I thought about that. <laughs> mm. Probably because Valentine's Day has just been and gone. It has, yesterday. Yeah. Did you get a card? No. Did you not? No. We, we both you you just let it slide. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. I got a card. Did you? I did. Yeah, did you get a flower? Yeah, yeah I just had to dash down to Sainsbury's to get it the night before they I forgot. <laughs> Well, I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't forget, I mean, but it's, I kind of got to that point in life where I'm thinking, do we need to do this? No. Do we need one day no. to... We do cards, but that's that's yeah. it, we don't do anything yeah. else. Just nice and thing. Yeah, it yeah. is actually, but there we go. Yeah. We had half an hour mm. together, that's all right. That's enough. That's <laughs> more than enough. It's 29 minutes more than we know. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> I think I'll leave that bit in actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, right, so knitting. We've decided that we're going to do this episode on knitting and then at a later stage we will have a sewing and quilting related yes, one. Yes, yes, we thought we'd split it out a bit. So if you're not interested in uh, sewing and quilting, then you can watch this episode or if you are only interested in sewing and quilting, you can forget this episode and wait for the next one. Just the next one. Hopefully will come out in about a fortnight's time. Yeah. Yeah, that's two weeks for those that don't know what a fortnight is. <laughs> yeah, because is it? Americans don't do fortnights, do they? Other parts of is America it? do. Certainly California had no idea when no. I was there what was a fortnight. No. Which I thought was quite weird. But... Two weeks then. Two, two weeks. weeks time, hopefully. Two weeks. So. Anyway, so knitting. Have you got any finishes, Tracy? <laughs> I have one finish. Well, that's good. I have a pair of socks that have not been blocked. So, I'm actually quite pleased with these. You, bought me, you bought me this for Christmas. I did, yes. Yeah. And I made them slightly longer than I normally do. They look fab. Yeah, I'm really pleased. It is a holiday colourway. It's Stylecraft. It was a Stylecraft yarn, yes. Yeah. I can't remember what it, what it was called, though, or... No, uh, <coughs> I might look it up whilst uh, you're talking in a yeah. moment, but um, I was really pleased with it. So They're got, lovely. Yeah, they came out really nice, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got to the point now where I think I'm pretty much okay with what I'm doing. Still standard um, stocking stitch. I'm not doing anything else. But then, with it being a patterned stripe, yeah. I didn't think... Well... You can put pattern, you can knit cables and things, but I think they get lost, personally. I don't know. Do you think that? Your pattern works, it's very good. On the two socks, Yes. You mean? Um, yeah, but that's quite easy. I just oh, pulled it? off until I started. Just started there. The so, yeah, so just very basic. Yeah. You know, so, um, cuff, cuff top down, top, top down, down. Top down, cuff down. Yeah. Um, stocking stitch and then whatever that's, what's that called when you do the heel? Where you do the slip stitch heel. I don't know. 
I don't know either. No, no. I don't know. No, no. I had a very slow January. I don't think February's been much better than this. Actually, not yet. <laughs> no. no. We get there. Anyway, basic socks. Very nice. I've got to block them still. I haven't worn them yet, but um, I love them. Yeah, they're really nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Did, didn't know what to get her for Christmas. Um, well, last year now, isn't it? So um, yeah. it was a little bit... Yeah, it's always difficult to know what to get, isn't it? It is. Yeah, sort of, um, and then if you buy something crafty for someone that is crafty... You kind of think, well, do they actually want something that's mm. crafty? Or do they want something that's, I don't know, for themselves yeah. kind of thing? You know? Which is which is what you did for me, I did, wasn't I did it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was just kind of thinking about, well, what, <clears throat> what would be nice? Mm. So I got I got some bath bombs, and, which mm. were lovely, yeah. and um, some little bits and pieces, cloths, and... Yeah, those weird Swedish... Pots, a nice pot. And, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, which I've been using. I, I really like them. them. They're, yeah. they're, they're a Swedish um, dishcloth. Yes. And it's, it's only... Or eight inches square, um, ten inches square, something not even like that. that big, I don't think I they're um, a printed, got a nice printed design on them. But the cloth themselves is it's fully compostable. Yeah. So it's, you can wash it in the washing machine for up to sixty degrees, up to sixty degrees. Yeah. And I think it said on the packaging you got like fifty washes. Was that correct? I oh, I don't know. Yeah. I did keep the package just yeah. you know yeah. so that I know. But... And then when you finish with it, then you can put it in your compost bin, and mm. it's, it composts. Because it's, it's, actually, it's actually a paper-based product, yeah. which is, I think, it's really amazing. Well, cellulose, I suppose, isn't it? It's paper-based. Um, yes, because I was a bit worried about using it to start with, because it sort of feels like if you put it under water, it would like just disintegrate. Yeah, it feels know, like disappear. cardboard. It's really, really hard when, the, when it's dry, yeah. and then you put it in water, and it's just like any other cloth. But, yeah. but they They're are very absorbent, super though. absorbent. Yeah, they are. Really, really absorbent. And if you're doing glass or anything like that it mm. takes all the smears and streaks away oh does it yeah oh that's yeah. worth knowing yeah that's worth knowing yeah so yeah, <laughs> yeah. So anyway. so i got something strange for christmas <laughs> oh i got a lovely pot as well though didn't i i got lots of lovely little bits yeah. and pieces yeah. yeah right so um i also have a pair of fresh Yay! socks my this is well, i've got these of my first independent pair of socks um away from Dottie. dot free dot free socks um, they did get pulled back a little bit. But, Do Dottie is um, Emma's mother in law, by mother the way. She's a super knitter. And, uh, she churns out socks like nobody's business. Um, she's, uh, she's a ninja when it comes to the socks. So, yes, it's just a. They're nice, they are. Puff down or top down, whatever. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd done them a little bit small, but um, I have actually worn them. I have, and they're very comfortable. I was very Don't pleased. Oh, oh, such a nice feeling. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, look, I made these. these. Yeah. yeah, they're so much nicer than shop bought, don't you think? Oh, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. So I was really pleased. Yeah, excellent. I, I can't remember what the ball was. I'm afraid. I think I did keep the ball band, but um, if you find it, we could put it under. If find it, I'll put it under. This has got quite. A, it's got a bit of a slubby texture to it. Yes, it has. It's yeah, lovely. we'll put some better photos. Yeah, we will. You can see. But this reminds me. Um, we'll talk about our weekend purchases <laughs> in a little while. Mm -hmm. But um, did you see Ted Knits and his Ted Knits UK? had a really nice slubby textured wool mm. on sale and I'm going to put a picture in I don't know, maybe I did because I was really, I didn't get it in the end but I, I think I'm going to get it from mm. him because um, I really liked it, I like that slubby texture yeah and who was the other, there was another person that had slubby wool uh, yes that was, uh, was it the yarn whisperer yes I think he it had, was. He, he had, had some, some nice. as well, yeah that he dyed himself which yeah. was lovely, yeah yeah, that extra texture, it's really nice yeah. isn't it, yeah yeah. yeah, excellent. Nice colour. Very nice. That colour, don't yes, you? I was very a... pleased with it actually. Yeah, you've got a hat similar colour. Um, when I, I when I originally knit them, um, I um, I think I knit them too too long or something because I think I was I was sort of thinking that they would be a man's sock, um, but then I got part way through them and decided that yeah, actually I them. wanted them. Yeah. Um, so so, so dot, no, I took it back. I took it back. That yeah. was it. So did you cast all sixty four stitches or how many stitches on? Um, I can't remember. I can't remember. Can't remember. I'll check. Yeah, I do six. Six. I've got the standard now. Sixty-four on a size two and a half millimeter. I think I was on a two and a half. Yeah, yeah. I make mine slightly longer because I've got fat feet. <laughs> so, so the heel is slightly longer. Oh uh, right. Okay. Accommodate my feet. <laughs> but yeah, nice. Yeah. But there you go. Nice. So they've got both got a pair of socks. Yeah. Which is good. And then I've got this. Yes, this is lovely. I noticed this. Yes, I will take it off to show you. So this is the um, Easy Go Zip Double Knit 
um, scarf by. My glasses on. Sorry, <laughs> hold on. Finicky, Finicky Creations. Oh, right. Um, now she does a. It's a free pattern. Uh, she does a um, a four ply version. Um, um, fingering weight yarn, and she's actually um, adapted it for double knit. Nice. So I had um, I had this lovely ball of hand dyed um, yarn. Yeah, it's gorgeous. But I only had the one skein, and I knew that that wasn't going to go very yeah, far. Nice. So I got a couple of other balls of double knits. Um, they're both co-op knits. Is it co-op knits? Wool? Co-op knits? Co -op knits. As, in co -op. The, as in the supermarket co-op? Yeah, but not, not them. Oh, right. I think it's called. I'll, I'll put a link underneath. I'm sure it's called, they're called co-op. Oh, right. I don't know. I haven't heard of those. Um, so Ooh. there's two balls. And you did lace work. Yes. Wow. Yeah, and then you, you start at the, you obviously cast on at that end. And you increase and you do different little sections of, you know, from sort of a, this open lace work to some garter stitch and nice. some pearl. And, oh, I love it. Um, so it just, I mean, that used up, you know, the three balls, which was great. Yeah, oh, um, I love it. It's nice, isn't it? So it's been blocked out. Um, Ooh, look at that. Oops, that's the back of it. Yeah, the back of it, yeah. that one. Because it's stuck. <clears throat> the only thing with stocking stitch, you've got like one... Wrong on the right side. Yeah. Which actually yeah. is that's probably, actually probably better knowing that is wrong on the right. So yes, so that was um I was very pleased. I enjoyed Love knitting. It. It's nothing Love complicated, it. you know, so it's so a great one so, for the telly. So a full skein of the um I had a little bit, I had um I had a little bit of the the hand dyed left. And I've got a little bit of each of them right. left in actual right. fact, but um I reached the point to be honest where I've had enough. Yes. Yeah, scarves can be a bit. And so, scarf, yeah, so I. Shawl. Um, shawl or a scarf, what do you call it? Well, I would say it's a scarf. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but yes, it's nice. very nice and I'm very pleased. Yeah, and it's, nice, um, nice. it's a nice size. Yeah, yeah. Um, nice colours. So, yes. Yeah. Nice colours. So, that was my finish. Fabulous. There we go. That look alright now? Yeah. 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 So, yes, easy goes it. Um, double knit scarf. Okay. Put a pattern. Oh, we will see it. Yeah. Cool. It's a nice freebie. So, yeah, definitely. So, if you've got, right. like me, lots of different odd balls, you know, it's quite a good way of. Odd balls. Of wool. <laughs> I don't have odd balls. Of wool. So are you knitting anything at the moment? Uh, yeah, I've got a pair of socks on the go. Yeah. Um, onto, I've knitted one, I'm onto the second one. So, um, I haven't, I'm at the heel um, flap at the moment. Right. And um, I don't know, I put it down. I always find if I put things down, I, if I don't pick them up straight away, they mm. kind of get lost for a little while. So it's been a couple of weeks since I've picked those up. Oh, so really? I need to pick those back up again. But I haven't been sat watching the television recently. Yeah. And um, knitting is a television sport for me yes so yeah. um, I need to do that I need to pick those back up again and I still haven't finished that cardigan that I had on the go I've got like 20 rows of a sleeve to do and that's it and that's it oh for goodness sake woman I know, come on I, know, I, know, I, know, I just can't bring myself to get it out I think it. she needs to have that done by next to the next video don't you yeah I'll do that that was the um, challenge mm, okay yeah get it finished what was her name somebody by wrong Oh, I yeah. Doesn't matter. Again. Do it <laughs> it's a whole programme of. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. If, if, if you don't meet until May, then I'll be alright. Oh. <laughs> no. No, that's not. So I've got um I've got a cast on. You've got a nice knitting bag, I can only cast on. What's that? Look at that. It's beautiful. Wow. That is amazing, isn't it? So the lovely Maureen. Yes, I can say this to Maureen. The lovely bag. Maureen. Maureen came round for a coffee last week and she had one, she had a bag made up like this and my mother-in-law was with me as well and we were admiring it and, and as Maureen does, she said, oh, I can make one if you want. So um, my friend Karen was there as well and she jokingly said to Maureen, oh, we'll see that by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Can you have got it by 10 o'clock? <laughs> well, she, I gave her the fabric, she went home, she left my house at about four o'clock in the afternoon, six minutes past nine, the Tuesday morning, I had a photograph of two Ooh. completed bags. 
Um, it's, it is a free one. It's a free um, YouTube. So again, I can put the link on it for you. Um, and um, let's say I provided the, the fabrics. And I don't know if you can see, it's got this. this she's, she's, she's a grommet yeah, queen, isn't she? She is. Yes. Yeah, I love it. So you can you can poke your yarn through through the hole. Oh, that's such a good idea. Um, and then it keeps you all yeah. nice and safe in the bag. So wow. it's brilliant. So yeah, so I've been using it already. Wow. So I have cast on, which is probably going to be a complete nightmare. But there we go. Um, so I've cast this Ooh. on. So this is a um, it's a style craft. Wow, pattern. Um, for a jump up with a, and it's a lace weight. What was I thinking? But um, so I'm going to do that. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. So that's you have a choice of the jumper or the the sort of um, tank top. Or what do you yeah. want? Oh, I like that. Yeah. But it's um, because it's on five. It's on five mil needles, so it it actually grows quite quickly. Yeah. Um, it's ever so but light. It's nice and light. Um, it's going well so far. Going so, well so far, I think. So, is this called lace weight? Is this a lace weight it wool? It is a lace weight wool. It's called Charm. Um, Charm by Stylecraft. Um, lace weight. Uh, it comes as a 200 gram ball. And because it's so fine, one ball wow. one ball's enough for the jumper. I bet you can see that. Well, good to play something. Yeah. Um, That's gorgeous. Yeah, so I just thought it was it was quite pretty. So really, really pretty. So it's it's an easy knit. You know, it's the one. It's it's just knit and pearl basically. So you can just sit and sit on an evening in front of the telly. So it's knitted just, flat. Yes. And then so you've got some seaming to do. Yes. Yeah. But have a neck. Trusty nice. Friend. Oh, I yeah, like that. that's lovely. Yeah, so I'm quite tops, enjoying that so far. Tops are really in, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are, very yeah. much so, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we saw lots and lots of tank tops in the weekend. Yeah. Sort of patterns, so. so it is an acrylic, but yeah. it's got a little bit of wool and a bit of mohairing, obviously, which yeah, gives it the beautiful. fluffy. The ha yeah. The halo. The halo, the that's halo. it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so, I, uh, so far I am quite enjoying it because I can just sit and, you know, just knit away in front of the telly and it's... um. Nice, it's got a tiny little rib at the a bottom. A little rib at the bottom, yeah. 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 What kind of cast on do you do? That was thumb. Oh, okay. That was the yeah, thumb, thumb method, thumb method yeah. yeah. Nice, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I'm very Ooh. pleased. So that, will that be done next time? No. <laughs> what do you mean no? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> You've got two sides, <laughs> no front and one back. No, because I might do the, I think I might do the jumper. Oh, I was going to say, oh, you're right. So yeah. I've got two sleeves as well, so, oh, but no, right. it definitely won't be done by right. that time. <laughs> no, not happening. Lovely. No. Oh, that sounds silly. So that looks nice, yeah. Yeah. And there's another bag on the table, so I'm intrigued to know what's in there as well. Oh, no, 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 this is, this is, we, this past weekend, we, we met up at um, Farm and Maltings because it was the Unravel festival this weekend. It was, wasn't it? Um, which is a yarn festival um, that takes place once a year. Once a year? Once a year, I think. Yeah, once a year in Farnham Malting, which yes. is in Surrey. So, um, it's a lovely show. Beautiful show. Did we go two years ago? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, I think it was about two years two ago. Years I'm not sure if they did it last year, because was it But it, it was pre-pandemic, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe it was three years ago then. Might have been, actually. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 it would be two, because it'd be March 20, wouldn't it? Uh, it's Jan Jan February 20, we went. Just before, before, all, before all it kicked off. Before. Oh, oh, was it the year before? No. Anyway, anyway, it's a while since we've been. <laughs> so, um, but my recollection of the festival last time, it was very busy. Yes. I was completely overwhelmed. It was the <laughs> first wool festival I had been to. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, and me. And I had no idea what to purchase, what, to, and I was completely overwhelmed by everything. And I must admit, I, I got to a bit of that stage this weekend as well. Yeah. Get, it, there's yeah. so much there and so much choice. It's a bit like... A huge amount of choice. But what to buy? It was really well organised. It was. So we had a time slot. So um, we were at the 10 o'clock booking. Um, and so it's a staggered start mm. to the, to, for everybody, which yeah. sort of, it doesn't limit the numbers, I don't think, but it, 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 it gives just you space quite, quite everybody out, periods, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't it, it? Does, yeah. 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 Which worked really well, I thought, yeah. actually. Yeah, and so we had a nice, easy walk around. We did, yeah. 
and in fact I, I think it's nicer because for the traders I think it might be nicer because you also have time to sit or stand rather and look yeah. and peruse yes. and I would imagine they make more sales because people have time to, yeah. to consider yes. their purchase yeah, and have a chat with them yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah probably I, well, I would hope so I hope that's the case for them so yeah, um, yeah I really enjoyed it it was very pleasant um, we had about three hours there maybe mm, ten Yes, yeah, yeah we left about one. one-ish, didn't yeah. we? So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had a cup of coffee and... Yeah, it was lovely. Nice. Really, really, really nice. relaxed. Very and nice. And it was nice not to push and shove and not have to fight to find a seat to sit down to have a cup of coffee. Yeah. yeah. Time to chat with people on yeah. the stand. So, beautiful. Really, really enjoyed it. So, yeah, it was good. It was my first post-pandemic outings, yes, really. So, yeah. Um, and I didn't feel uncomfortable. No, it's good. However, they did make you wear mats, which I was quite grateful for. I don't think you had to wear No, I don't think they could have forced you, but there was a sign up saying we, um, we would like you oh, to wear Oh, was there? Oh, I didn't see um, that. But most people were wearing Most masks. people did, yeah. All the, the traders, traders were, but yeah. most people actually attending were also. Yeah. And there was lots and lots of hand sanitizer around. There was, yeah. So um, you didn't feel... Um, odd, you know, stroking the walls and things yeah. because you knew that you could sanitise yeah. everything. So that was all right. So yeah, it was good. So it was, it was fabulous. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. But I um, <laughs> I think I've been saving up all my wall money. <laughs> She's got a lovely big panel over here. I, you do that. I have a, I have a little budget. I have a little. I have yes. a you know, little kitty. I have a little kitty for buying threads and a little <laughs> kitty for buying wool. Little <laughs> kitty buying. And then and then I know I've got it. You see, yes. So. So last time I went, I, I didn't know what to buy. I had no idea, and we were knitting. But we not were, but not that, not that much. No. I don't think. No. And I, I I wasn't really aware of the independent kind of company selling wools. You know, I was aware of the more commercial yarns. Yes. You know. The, yeah. Um, the wools that have been hand dyed, I think, were all quite new at that time. Whereas this this time, two years on. You're kind of more aware of what mm. was there, what's available to you, and yeah. what you can do with it, yeah. and what, pe- what other people are doing with it. Most, yes. in my case, because yes. I just like to see what I'm doing. <laughs> well, it's, and it's great. It, it's great to go and get new ideas and, yeah. and see different patterns and samples and things like that. I think. Yeah, as and well. I think also, you know, with our own skill levels have increased. Yes, and um, I feel able to take on a few more projects. Yeah, now, so. yeah, definitely. So I, I did go with one thing in mind though, because the previous time I had bought a kit from Midwinter Yarns yep. to knit my husband a pair of rag socks, um, which I did, and then knit up very quickly. And so I wanted to get another kit because he's never had those off his feet. He yeah. loves them. So I did purchase. Um, I bought three, three kits. So I, um, all of the rag sock wool, which is fantastic, and it comes with a you get a, a pattern. Obviously, I don't need the pattern because I've got the pattern, but it comes with it. So I bought it in blue, black, and I got one in green. Oh, I didn't know you got yes, green. Yes, I got wow. green as well. We'll take these out and show you. But the wool is um, is gorgeous. I really like this wool. So, so um, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that one. Yes. So it is wool and. Polyamide. Polyamide. Is that the same as polyester? No, it's a bit different. Oh, no. So, this is a gorgeous kind of tealy green with, um, it's like on the pink shade of a grey, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind it is. Yeah. Grey, don't we into pink? Quite an interesting colourway. So, yeah, I really like this. I don't know where Very it's made. Nice. I don't know where it's made, actually. Yeah, that's what they make up. Let's see those, what they make up like. Yes, so that's midwinter yarn. So they're Scandinavian, aren't they? Knit, you knit it's it on Swedish. Swedish, so yeah. yeah. Um, and you knit them on four millimeter needles, so it goes really quick. That's why I really enjoyed making oh, them. Oh right, okay. So I, mean, I, I remember, yeah, I remember, I remember nice. making it. I think it only took me about two, two and a half nights to make the, the socks. Did it? Yeah, they whip up really quickly. And the, in the toe is not like. The, um, the one where you have to graft it in. I don't know what you call it, you pull it together at the end. So you, de- you decrease and then you literally just pull it together. What, on these? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't have to do all of the, mm. the, the, the extra bits, the grafting. Like mm. So yeah, so that's the rag sock yarn. So oh, really nice. really pleased with that. And then, um, I actually don't know the lady who runs, I don't know what her name is, do you? Uh, you do know I do, but I can't remember. <laughs> Well, they oh, always sorry. have gorgeous, gorgeous um, project bags. Well, I, I love anything with a, a mid-century vibe yeah. to it. 
And I spotted this as soon as I saw it. Yeah, picked it up and I went straight in she my did. house. <laughs> she was like a whippet. <laughs> so it's bark cloth, isn't it? I think. I think they are bark cloth. cloth. Yeah. Bark cloth on the outside. So um, whether this is an original bark cloth, you, can't, you don't get bark cloth very often. No, you do. don't. Nice though, isn't it? Occasionally you see them. We have shown them before because yeah. we have, I think, yeah. last time we went, we, we both purchased one last time. So, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, very nice. So, it's just a drawstring, <clears throat> a little towel, and then she's got a, a nice little mid winter yarn. Yeah. But yeah, I like these. So they're really handy size for socks. Yeah, they are. So, yes, <laughs> obviously, I'm going to get a collection of uh, mid winter yarn. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, that's all right. That's okay. A lot of people say to me, but why do you buy a project bag when you can make them yourself? Because it's nice to buy. Because it's nice. Because it's, it's nice, nice to, to buy, buy it and not do it. Yeah. And <laughs> also, you don't get this fabric on the. Um, you, just don't, you just won't see it, will you? No. No. Oh, so, those as well. Yeah, nice little braided. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. So, yeah, so, so I was really happy with that purchase. So I've got three balls there. So I'm going to knit. Um, Steve, the husband, a, another pair, probably in the green, I think, or, I don't know, I'll give him the choice. He can, yeah. he can choose. He can choose. Actually, I did say to him, I got back, so I, I haven't got anything for Valentine's Day, but I did put, buy some wool to make some socks, so he was actually really happy with that. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think these will go for um, the eldest son, and I knitted him a hat for Christmas, mm. and he was really, really thrilled with it, so... Um, and it's, he's not had that off his head. Oh, God, so he's good then. He obviously appreciates... Fact that it's something yeah makes and I think he'd appreciate the stuff yeah kind of stuff. I think they reach an age don't they when yeah, they start they to appreciate things like that a bit do. better yeah so, so then I've got to uh, well we'll see what Steve wants first I mean he, he if he likes the black then I'll do the green ones for myself okay because they like slippers almost yeah right, yeah hats, you know so I don't wear slippers. Do you wear slippers? I do. I oh, do wear slippers. slippers. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, I don't like slippers that much on my feet. Oh so. no, I like mm. it. I like my slippers. Mm. So. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, so that's purchase number one. So <laughs> did you? Did you get anything from me? I did. Uh, did I buy? No, I didn't buy anything from me. You, you were looking actually. at the linen, weren't you? I yes. They had. Uh, you bought some linen last time. I did buy you? linen last time, yeah, which is still not finished. So I, mm. I moved myself very quickly away from oh, that. Yes, yeah. before I got tempted. Yeah. 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 Um, yes. I, well, no. I didn't buy anything from Midwinter. Um, we both purchased. Oh, yes, we, did. we both purchased some of this, which is um, from a British company. Oh, British um, producer. Yeah. Called Wool Decanted. And this is their Vintage 20, which yeah. is a um, four ply. Um, we both bought. We both bought. We both bought this because we both really liked them together. Yeah. And they had a, a fantastic sample on the stand of it's um, a pearl Soho pattern. I'll put a, a picture in. Yeah, the boyfriend somewhere here. Beanie. Um, boyfriend beanie. Well, oh, I that's... thought it was the red. No, it's the boyfriend beanie. Was it? Yeah, it's the boyfriend beanie. Okay, yeah. I would have put, from, the, from, I from put the wrong picture there. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, so it's two strands held together and yeah. it had this lovely mold. mold yeah, effect. beautiful. We saw a few mold balls and incredible. then that uh, Yeah, really nice. But yeah. we, we, it's interesting because we don't go round together. No. Uh, we, kind of, we kind of do our own thing. We, we, and then meet up for the end of the well, girl or something. Yeah, then they're right. We always yeah. kind of come back together. Yeah. And it's interesting that we, we tend to go for the same things. Oh, that's it. <laughs> and then we get in a bit of a quandary because, well, oh, well, if you're making it, I won't get it then. And then, no, just get it if you like it. It's <laughs> really, because Tracy, Tracy bought it first. And I was like, oh, I really like it. She said, oh, just buy it. Just yeah. buy it. Yeah. So yeah, so we both yeah. ended up so with we've that. Both, we've both got these. Now, they are producers and they were telling us a little bit about their story, weren't they? Yes. So two nice ladies. Lovely. Yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah. Based out of Hampton Court, I think yes, she said, she didn't said, she? Yes. Um, so what else did we get then? Well, sh we, I know we both bought a couple of things the same. <laughs> this was a, the other thing we bought that was the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's dreadful, isn't it? So yeah, we both we both went a little bit Zal Zalba ball. Zal Zal is that yeah, I don't know. Zal 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 is it German? Is it German? I think so. I think so. Zal anyway, Zal they're crazy. They're what? Are they? They're a four ply, aren't they? Are they a four ply? I think it's sock wool, isn't it? Is it sock wool? Yeah. Well, yes. Actually, I bought mine because I thought, well, I could either do it into socks or I could make a scarf. Um, I could do a scarf with it because. Um, I've seen quite a few of the um, Stephen West botanic or botanical, um, botan 
yeah, I was I wasn't familiar with it. I wasn't familiar. Although having said that, I had liked Fibre Hustle's yes, version of it, but I didn't one. realise yeah. what it was. But yeah, so the stand selling these, I saw them, liked them, picked up these three to begin with, thinking, yeah, I really like those, and put them back down again because mm. I thought I had no idea what to make with them. I'm not sure I actually need more socks in my life. Yes, because I've still yeah. got quite a lot of a Yorkshire spinner left. Yeah. And then you came along and you had that one in your hand as well. And then you say you were telling me about the, the pattern, weren't you? Yeah. Um, um, Aaron from Fire Yeah, he's done it. So at which point I picked him back up again and thought, yes, actually I really like that. So. Yeah. So I think it's it's a Stephen West pattern. You mix you mix one of these with a with another, you know, whether it be a solid or another colour. Yeah. That yeah. runs continuously yeah. throughout. Yeah. Um yeah, they just look so nice. It did. So, so to that end, I picked yes. up this one, which is a dark one. And this is from, this company is The Knitting Shed. Yeah. The Knitting Shed. And it's called, I don't know, this is called Hip Hip. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's called Hip Hip. Hip Hip Yeah. So I thought oh, those nice, two nice. So, so yeah. the pattern itself is um, a plain colour, which looks as though it was knit, just plain knit. Yeah, I think so. Plain knit. I think and so. And then the... The stripey Zalba ball was in between at the back of it. Yeah. So it formed like a, a box around. Yeah. These little boxes yeah. with plain knitting, plain colour knitting around the, yeah. the fancy stripes. Really nice. We'll put a... We'll yeah. put a yeah. Actually here. Or here. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, yeah the pattern looks good. <laughs> and then as it happened, we, kept, we we got these, walked away, and we saw someone wearing one. We did, yes. yes. We went out to yeah. the foyer, and yeah. I was like, Daisy, look, look, there's, there's one. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. So, definitely. So that's, that's definitely going to be that project. That would be nice. That would be lovely, wouldn't yeah. it? And I've, um, I think I've got something green or actually I also have a grey one at home. Yeah, we'll probably go, we'll go with, with that. that well. Yeah, I tell you what I do have actually. My friend um, used to have alpaca, and um, she did start making some more before I was really into knitting. Yeah, and I do have a grey, but it's an alpaca grey. So I'm not sure whether that would work or not. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not very good on things like no, that. No, me neither. But that's that's an <laughs> option for that. So. Yeah. So are you going to turn, which one are you going to turn into a scarf? Um, well, the Stephen oh, West I don't know. One. I don't know. Um, I quite, I quite like the look of that because it's got lots of different... It'd be quite nice with that kind of yellowy green. The yellowy, or it, it has also yeah. got like um, purple, a purple yeah. as well. Yeah. Lots of tones. Yeah. Yeah. All grey, light grey. I did, I, I was sort of looking at that and thinking my sister actually. Cause she oh really? Was, she, you know, I don't know, just sort of think of her when I see that. I don't know if she watches this, but don't hold your breath, Sarah, if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, so we um, both got, we both yeah. got, um, we so, got those. So this orange, by the way, if anyone's interested, is Orangery 731312. Mm. Mm. Yeah. On the back, so the numbers are on the back, so presumably they're repeatable colours. Yeah, they? they must be. Yeah. Nice, oh, so Yeah, they? they are nice. Yeah, they are nice. Yeah, I was very pleased with them. Yeah, me too. And they were, what, were, were they about £10? Yeah, they were expensive. £10 a ball, I think yes. they were, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Which, um, yeah, I didn't think was too bad, really. No, I don't know, I don't know the vendor we've got them from. No. But, um, yeah, which I quite nice. selection. She and, did, she did. And, uh, slightly more, they were slightly more commercial yarns, weren't they? Yes, they yes. were, yeah. yeah. I mean, there was, it was it. There is a lot of sort of I would say upper upper bracket hand dyed yarns there. You know, it's um, yeah. quite specialised. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I mean, uh, market wasn't it? Yeah, I don't um, know. I can't even remember. Seventeen, sixteen, seventeen pounds, isn't it? Yes, um, yeah. hundred grams, or some of them are twenty, twenty two. I noticed. Uh, yeah, but I obviously, I obviously I'm obviously quite into this sort of mall yes. look at the yes. moment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, this is um, That's gorgeous. I love that. Marl Magic by River Knits, and um, she she actually had a little um, a little pair of, of mittens, a pattern of mittens to nice. go with that. Mm. And again, you mixed you mixed a colour with a, okay. you know a, another one with that. Yeah, they look nice. Um, yeah, isn't that quite nice, isn't it? Mosaic Mittens by phone. Becky Pamela Best. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So I got the um I got the pattern for those as well. I felt yeah. quite fancy having a little in fact I bought two patterns for mittens. Um figureless ones. Yes, yeah. yeah. So um yeah. nice. Yeah, so nice, nice, nice. that's that. And then yeah. my last one was a hand dyed 
which was um, Roses Moments, uh, which is a four ply colour fern, and you get like a little mini skein, which I'm assuming is for your your toe or yes, your cuff or yeah. something. Yeah, heels, toes. Um, but it was cuffs. it was on sale, so nice. Yeah, so yes. I got that. I thought that was quite nice. Yes. Going on the Sunday was quite good because there were a few bins that were yeah. end end of yeah. lines or you know, sale bins, weren't there? Yeah, so, there was. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a rummage through if you wanted to. So what else did you get? Uh, I've got two. No, or? I've got two more things. So I picked this one up from the um, the yarn whisperer, which was a. It's like kind of like I don't even know what you call that colourway. It's kind of mucky pink. <laughs> mucky pink. Mucky pink. Does that? Dusky pink. Dusky pink. Dusky pink. Not mucky. Well, Lovely. somebody does. Somebody does have a dirty pink, don't they? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Notice said, uh, oh. Maybe that is now, but there's definitely one called yeah. Anyway, I, I saw it and really liked it straight away. So and do you know, it's really funny because I, I saw her pick it up and she had it in her hand and I'm thinking, put it down. Oh, really? Put it oh, down. you should have said. Put it down. <laughs> and she didn't. She oh, bought no. it. I got <laughs> it. I got it. I know, I know. I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> oh, you should have said. Did you have another one? No, no, there was only the one. Was it? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I tell you what I have learnt to do now. If I see something that I'm instinctively drawn to, yes, it usually means that's the one. There's a reason for yeah, it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should go with your gut yeah. instincts. Yeah. What is what is it though? What is what? So it's, is it a four is, ply or? it's called um, Autumnal Equinox um, Coradale eighty twenty. Now this is it's a four ply. Okay. So this is something we've got to get into now. The different types of sheep. Oh, with it. Yeah. <laughs> A different touch. Well, this this is well, this was a mix. This was, yeah, that was vintage twenty was a mix of the Blue Face Lester, Lester and Shetland. Yeah. It? It yes, it was a Shetland. I yeah. think. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay. What, I don't know what the others are, but um, and this so this one's Corridale. So, so what's this one? Oh, this nice one? It is nice and soft. Beautiful. I'm just going to pick up my face, but. Well, this one's merino as well. Yeah. So we've got three types of sheep on the on the table. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. 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 Merino is soft as well. Yeah, it? it is. So you can tell you're getting more into it. I know. And I, I, you know, I was, I was amazed really. I know, you know, as quilters, we spend a lot on fabric and, and things, but it never ceases to amaze me how much people spend, uh, you know, are willing to spend on their craft. Yeah. Yeah. And on their yarn. But I think yeah. I think knitters spend way more than yeah. quilters do when they go to a show. I mean, if you were to do, you know, a jumper in 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 something like that, you're talking 140. You are, aren't you? Pounds, and people, aren't you? you know, a lot of people yeah. were buying yeah. them, you know, to the sweater yeah. quantities. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you see jumpers in the shops, you know what? Put that back now. Oh. <laughs> I noticed it. Well, I, I thought she's so busy talking, she won't notice. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, when you see jumpers in the shops, you can see yeah the ones that have been hand knitted. Yes. are you know a lot of money. Absolutely, yeah, a lot, a lot of money. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so that was nice. So I really enjoyed going that going there. But I did get two um, I got oh, two yeah, books as well, didn't I? Yeah. I got a, a pom pom magazine, and I got this one. I wasn't aware of Boone and Turtle. Not heard of those before, uh, but they had a, a sample of um, some. Well, it's Gudrun Johnston. I have seen her on one of the fruity knitting programs, I think. Okay. Yeah, and she has taken the Shetland Fair Isle mm -hmm. style and, and sort of updated it a little oh, bit. My God, it's but some of these, maybe we'll do a quick flick through. I'll do a oh, flick yeah, through we'll and, and just let you see that. But the one that I was taken to, there was a sample on the stand, which I was just falling in love with. Yeah. And it's called the, and it's called the, is it the Maywick? I can't see it upside down, but I think it's called the Maywick. But it was a, oh, just a beautiful cropped oh, sleeve, yeah. cropped. Stunning. Um, Absolutely stunning. Really, really nice. Oh, here we go. Maywick, Maywick, the name of the Shetland cottage where my parents spent their honeymoon. Wow. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. So I was I was looking at her thinking, is this beyond me or not? Um, but I reckon as long as I can get some quiet time. Yeah. There yeah, look, look at that under a pinafore dress as well. 
So, and it's made with Shetland, the Jameson's Shetland wool. So it's, got, it's going to have a, quite a nice hand. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah so I'm nice. looking forward to doing that. I like that one. That mm -hmm. one like mustards and blues. and So now you can have fun with different colours. But the, it's 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 colour work, but it's not colour not proper colour work. It's just done by Rose, isn't it? Yeah. So, anyway, oh, nice. very nice. The lady on the stand assured me that I would be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be coming for you if not. <laughs> so lots of lovely. I'll do the flip through of that because there's some really lovely um, designs in that particular. Um, it is book three called Heritage, the Shetland Trader book three Heritage book. So we'll do a flip through. flippy book and we might do this one as well because I really like this one as well there's some really interesting designs in this one now I think these two girls here are sisters and I wasn't familiar with them go on what's their names Kayomi and Saki Eko Bergen no I'm sorry I just completely that's why I didn't bother that's why I didn't bother <laughs> oh I which you know what and when I they don't look particularly Japanese on the cover but obviously they are, aren't they? I think so, yes. But when I looked through the book, I said to, to Dot, I said, this is very Japanese inspired. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, that's what I've picked up. Yes, but, yeah. Oh, really lovely. lovely. Really nice. Really, really nice designs. Yeah, beautiful book. Again, a little bit of colour work in there as well. Yeah. So, ooh, that was nice. Look at that, that's a big shawl. That's nice too. Yeah. Um, very nice. So, yeah, so again... A lot of projects in here that possibly beyond my capabilities at the moment. Nice to... But um, I just like looking at yeah, them. I yeah, I love to dream. Well, they're inspiring, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they inspiring, are. Inspiring. Yeah. Uh, you can see what you can do with wool because, I don't know if you find this, I mean, we have come from a heritage of fabric knitting, mm. not knitting, um, of fabric um, sewing and quilting. Sewing, yeah. And... It's only recently I've started thinking about wool as fabric. Yeah. Um, I'm starting to change over a little bit. To, oh, there we are. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Good. I haven't. I put this back and didn't look at it on, on purpose. Until, yeah. Because I knew we were going to do this. <laughs> I just went to the bag until I come here. So. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get home now and uh, get a cup of coffee and put the fire on. And... Well, I must admit, I came home Friday, um, Sunday afternoon and I said to Dot, what I'm doing now is knit. I just want to knit. But I didn't. You did it. No, yeah, no, yeah. I didn't. No. So it was very good. Yeah. It was just lovely. It's really, really it was nice. Really so nice get the chance to go. It's, it was lovely. You can do classes there as well. Um, I didn't sign up for anything. but nope. um... Again, I, I sort of thought it might be beyond me. <laughs> Uh, there was one class that I did like the look of, and it was the um, the braided, like the braided set. Uh, what's the name of the country that does? Is it Armenian braided? Oh, I don't know. I could have got that wrong. But it's like a, if you're doing a, a cough, Philippa yeah. Naylor has done a few for her husband. She knit, she knit a. Philippa Naylor is a fabulous, well, she does everything fabulous. She does, yeah. <laughs> but a couple of years ago, she knitted her husband a, a tank top, you know, a, the fair owl type tank top. Mm. But she did this braided uh, piece that went round the collar. Oh, right. Like, round here. Yeah. I've said that wrong. It's something braided, but I can't think what the something is. Well, we'll put it underneath, don't worry. <laughs> We're very informative, aren't we? Sorry, sorry. There'll be lots of links yeah. underneath in this There'll be episode, lots of links I think. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. But yeah, so, so that was at one of the classes, so I would have liked to have done that, but yeah. um, I wouldn't have wanted to have done it there if you were No, I know what you mean. I, I wouldn't have felt confident no, to do it. No. There's yeah. something you need to be a little bit more relaxed yeah. about, I yeah. think. I'm just going to look that up now because I need to know it's what it is. It's going to annoy you. It's going to annoy you. So, um, so yeah, we did well, didn't we? We um, It did. We yeah. Had, we had a good time. Yeah, we? we did. It was yeah. an, it was a nice trip out. And, yeah, and, and Doc came with us, didn't she? So she did. The guru came with us. Um, but it was it was a horrible drive home because it rained all. Yes, it wasn't pleasant, was it, on the way home at all? Really bad. I think we're set for a week of it. I yeah, think we are at the moment. Yeah. But that's fine. That's okay. Yeah. No, I'm not doing it. Oh, no, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, it is Armenian. Oh, Armenian braided bracelet. Yeah, okay. It is. It is. So it's always right, see? Sometimes. Sometimes I just need to trust, trust, trust yourself. Trust yourself. Exactly. 
<laughs> exactly. So right, okay. so that's exhausted us in terms of the knitting. So it's probably a good job we're splitting this because we've probably managed to witch her on for quite yes. a while. Yes, yes. Yes, there's exactly lots of links in it. Look below, so underneath the description, there is links to whatever we've talked about because we're not very good at remembering. It's <laughs> our age. You should have written this all our age. age. <laughs> there you go. No, it's not our age. It's just because we don't do it. That's my age. I forget everything <laughs> unless I write it down these days. I've never had a good memory. Talking of memories, by the way, just oh. as a sideline, if anybody has the chance to get hold of the latest um, Stephen Fry's um podcast right um all about the brain and uh it's i think it's called the power of the brain the power of the mind i think it's called something like that okay yeah it's on um well it'll be on it's on audible Spotify, well it's Spotify? on audible I, I think it's free with audible so whether it's elsewhere or not i don't okay. know but uh yeah it's really good it's good mm. very very good talks okay. about memories yes um, that's good then how we make them yeah. Or not, in my case. Yeah, am I? I have great <laughs> swathes of my life that I just don't remember. Oh, we do. Oh, it's yeah, quite worrying do. sometimes, really, but there you go. Anyway. Well, it wasn't important because it wasn't knitting or quilting. Well, no, right. no, and I think a lot, for a lot of mine, I was sleep deprived through most of most of it, you mm. know, especially when the children were mm. younger. And, yeah, I, I swear it was like a sleep just locked everything in. Well, he, actually, he did actually say that. He did it in, the, in one of the podcasts. Did he? Yeah, there's 12 sessions, and one of them was all about creating memories. And um, they, they did a, an experiment whereby they did have sleep-deprived students mm. and those that were not deprived of sleep, mm. and then those students were allowed to take a nap during the day between sessions. Yeah. And those that um, were allowed to sleep and have a nap between sessions learnt far more than any of the others. Oh, right. So they said that you need the sleep, obviously, to wake up um, willing to learn. Yeah. And then once you've learnt, you need to go to sleep to let the mind absorb what it's okay. learned. Yeah. And it does move it from one part of the brain to another, apparently. Right, okay. Um, so that they were saying, yeah, you need to basically sleep on what you've learnt and then you're ready again to start learning tomorrow. Mm. So, okay, then I'll explain that. Yeah. So, but it's not too late. No, not too late. No, it's not. No. No. Okay. Right. Anyway, so oh, on that note, I think we'll call it a day. So I hope we haven't bored you too much. Uh, but how, if you have enjoyed it, then put a comment below and say that you have. And um, give us a thumbs up yeah. and a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, we'd love if you did. We would, so. That would be great. So, and um, maybe in a month's time, we'll put another episode up like this. Yeah. Or maybe three, because it might take us that time before we've done any knitting at all. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, anyway right. thank you so much for joining us. It's been lovely having you with us. It has. And um, we look forward to seeing see you again. You. Take care. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.